good morning good afternoon or good evening you know, whatever time you guys are watching or listening to this on the dsps man this is marky walker aka severe and this is the thhc podcast which stands for the hip-hop connoisseur podcast episode 188 man west taylor is here from the west to the east we're gonna talk about this album the moth uh man it's 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 going down man i hope y'all tapped in listen it is crazy Let's talk about it, man. Wes Taylor, man, welcome to the THHC podcast. Tell the audience who you are, man. You know what I'm saying? You're the best person for it. Uh, I appreciate. Hey, first of all, I want to appreciate you. You know, putting me on this platform, man. I appreciate you, bro. For real, for real. Thank you. But um, yeah, I'm Wes Taylor. Um, w S T dot Taylor. Um, I was born in LA. Um, moved to Lynn. Been out here for a while. Um, I come from a, you know. A certain type of family i come from a certain type of environment um but i always you know i always preach positivity no matter where i'm from no matter where i'm at you know i always appreciate i've always like push positivity I always push the art you feel me so um yeah yeah so um yeah yeah <laughs> no you have no you yeah. have I, I <laughs> yeah yeah so that's that's yeah. basically yeah. That's basically me, man. I'm into I'm into fashion. I'm into all type of things. Do you feel me? So, um, how long you been on the on the East Coast? You said so. You're from West. What part of West? What part? Of, I'm from I'm from LA. LA. Um, yeah, yeah. Specifically, I'm from I'm a Valley nigga, but you know I moved everywhere. Um, so, um, and then um, then I moved to um, then I moved to Lynn. Um, it's like. It's like it's not Boston. It's like a it's like thirty minutes away from Boston. You know, it's his own world. It's it's his own world. You feel me? Like Lynn is like. Oh no, I know Lynn. Like it's. <laughs> I, um, I forgot the slogan. It's like Lynn, Lynn. Uh, the city, city of sin. The city you don't, of sin. You don't um come. You don't go come back. You don't go come in. Something like that. Lynn, I, Lynn, the city of sin. I think you. The way you go in, you don't know. The way you come. The way you you don't come out the way you come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just he just told me my boy, like one of my boys, I spoke. That's spooky. That's <laughs> that's spooky. That's see, that's spooky. That's see, see. Now I know Lynn. I, my mom's used to live in Lynn before she moved down south. Uh, so I'm from Boston too. So um, okay. shout out to uh Jeff in the uh the the chat. He says, Marky, salute, peace to you, Boston on deck. Uh he also says your guest salute, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Jeff, man, from Dartmouth, Mass, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a fact checker, man. You know, see, so being there telling us what's good, man, in the chat and stuff, man. Um, before we get into the album, man, yesterday was Friday, and uh, I'm just gonna like, you know, I just like to give props to people and artists that came out. These are some of the albums I listened to yesterday, and I would just want to let them scroll uh, around uh, across the screen for a while. There was a new person. Uh, a new artist that I, I album that I listened to this week that I forgot to put on yesterday's show, but uh, so I put it on uh, the list at the end of this. Um, it was I think number is it I eight? It. I number eight, is, I don't number know. eight is number eight is Thought Provoka. He's a, a great rapper. Uh, journaling my thoughts. That's an uh, album uh, I was listening to over the uh, weekend too, and I, I I didn't listen to it Friday. I think I listened to it today. Uh, but shout out to Chase Fetty, Empty Clips. Shout out to B Dawn, Lost Gem Seven. Shout out to Flea Lord and Crisis, Full Court Press. Shout out to uh, Rakim Al Jabbar, La Famasi Familia. Shout out to G Fam Black from Brockton, uh, and Kill Killabong Salt in the Wound. Shout out to Substance Eight Ten and Machacha. Support. Shout out to uh, Skip the Kid, Jazzy Lion Man, The Price. Of a sample and again thought provoker uh journaling my thoughts man have you do you know any of these uh nah to be honest, um i know flea lord i don't know flea lord but i heard of flea lord i heard of vaughn and i heard of um um what's his name substance, substance chase, chase, fetty, chase fetty too chase fetty too yeah um uh, but what I'm, I'm i'm interested in thought provoker to be honest i'm like journaling my thoughts i don't know i'm like um that provoke is dope man um, I'm, I'm intrigued i'm intrigued so i'm like that that's what it's true so i'm like let me tell you, i want to check that out so i'm i, I had him on the show it. too and uh he's a he's a good uh good good friend of mine through through social media and uh 
So yeah, man, connect with him, man. If you like, if you you want to connect with him, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I like his right now. I like his aesthetic too off his album. Expensive thrifts. All right, I thrift shop. I feel it. Hell yeah. 100%, man. 100%. But let's get into your album, man. It's time for that uh, that time, man. Hell yeah. Let me introduce it, man. We're going to go track for track and go back and forth. We're going to have some fun. Hopefully, uh, uh, True Cypher joins us. I did send him the link. Uh, like, right now. Oh, but he, he, he ran out. He ran out. So hopefully he joins us. He said he all might. Right. He okay. might. All right. All right. Bet. Um, so, but, you know, if he does, you know, he'll just pop and I'll just pop him in. Don't worry about it, man. But just have, we're just going to have some fun. Like I said, this is all organic. Right. We gonna have some fun on here, man. Uh, who's on here now? Oh, older beats, oh, man. Oh, did you see my head? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my God, man. Yeah. Well, at least he's in the chat. You know what I'm saying? He's a fact checker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he could talk about the music he he uh he did on here mm. as well. Let's talk about it. So uh, Wes uh, Taylor. Uh, the album's called The Moth. It came out June 30th, 2022. It's about mm. 24 minutes, 22 seconds, man. Uh, let's get into it, man. Number one is called Black Excellence and Nigga Shit. <laughs> nigga shit, nigga shit. And want- this is produced by a True Cypher, so shout out to True Cypher. Uh, the title matches the intro song. It starts with music that equals Black Excellence and ends with the West and East Coast Negro conversation. It's a dope intro, so I know it's you and like someone else from Lynn or something, you know, unless you're doing a Lynn accent, I'm not sure. Nah, 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 that, that was my homie Bucket Top. That was my okay. Homie. Oh, that was Bucket Top. So talk about the intro, man, and and, and why'd you uh put that on there? Because I, I'm a big fan of like uh, black exploitation movies, so I'm a big fan of those movies. So Ooh, if I knew that, I would have gave you some. Ver- oh, damn, ah, oh, we should so, do that. Forget. So that's how I kind of like how I wanted to like start. I want the sound to sound like that that type of aesthetic. Yeah. And conversation of you know just of the mindset of, you know at certain people at a certain time, mm-hmm. you know. So, but also it t- we also pride in that too. We pride the struggle. So it's like we feel you know. So I wanted to um, also like explain to like get rid of that mindset as well. So long, you know. That's why I picked that type of sample to get you know what I mean. So and um and like the moth. It's basically like a screenplay, you know. If you really look at it, I'm like, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make a movie mm-hmm. based on, you know, my influences of other movies. But mm-hmm. also, you know, you know what I'm saying. And I'm a fan of that. Like, I'm a big fan of like how Good Kid, Mad City was basically like a screenplay to a movie. It's a, it's a sonically a movie, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of that. You know, so that's kind of like the route I like to go to. So you know, so every so it's like it's like every every song is a different a different scene with a different feeling. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Let's so go to good. number two, man. Speaking of a different feeling, it's called texture. So the texture gives you different feelings. Yeah, um, love the light jazzy record with those piano keys. This is also produced by True Cipher. The mm-hmm. texture of West Taylor's cloth is the best of both coasts. His voice is West Coast texture, and his wordplay is East Coast fabric. Uh, rapper listens to his mom. I, I hate I hear the verses. I'm, I just want you to know I'm listening. You're like you got the verse like isn't it mom? Isn't it mom? Like you sound like okay. I know. Say so. Let's talk about number two texture, man. I like this record too. What's up? Texture, yeah. Basically, texture is like it's that feeling when you um when you take pride who you know people you surround yourself with. Oh, but I'll just that's that's another concept of texture you know me and my homies come outside we come from a different texture you know it's taking pride of what y'all represent and, and y'all principles you know so we we're, we're a different fabric and that concept and then like the other concept is with me like i blend two cultures together you know me was me born and raised on the west coast and then me also being raised on the east coast and spending a lot of time out here so it's like these these um these flavors is blended and it's coming into a different type of texture. So this is a required taste. Some people like bait, some people like supreme, but this is not your normal fabric. So I'm just really talking my, you know, talking my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Coach Gats in the chat, man. Another rapper that's dope. He just was on the show recently. Uh, y'all go check them out, Coach Gats, Dope Rappers. It's still got an incredible album that we reviewed. Wes Taylor, 
Um, True Cypher, welcome to the podcast, man. What's good? Peace, y'all. What's hey. going on? You got some catching up to do. First of all, thank you and bless <laughs> you for being on, man. But yeah, your first uh, two pleasure. tracks, you got six tracks on here. That's why I wanted to, you know, I, I wanted to get you on here. Um, you probably didn't know that. You don't know where you're putting the tracks, but track nah, one yeah. was, was Black Excellence and, and, and Nigga Shit. That was your track right there. Do you remember that one? Do you remember that track? Nah, nah. Um, so I'll let Wes speak on that because... <laughs> Those, the way that me and Wes work, like I just send him a plethora of beats and let him, yeah. you know, saying let, let whatever sticks, he knows how we work is his. Whatever works is his. Mm-hmm. Um, the Black Excellence joint, that's that's not one of my joints. Uh, but I'll, I'll let Wes speak on that. What Wes? Who you? you hey man, you. Who did that track? Damn, who did that track? Black Excellence. Yeah, but it's, and nah, it's, it's I, I know it's I and nigga shit. Like, what's it? No, no, black, black, black excellence. Yo, black, oh, black excellence and nigga shit is actually the males. There you go, males. Yeah, they the males. The twins, the twins, the males. They the males. Yeah, yeah, black excellence. That's that's I, that's my fault. Males, yo, I be high. My fault. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is what I like. This is the love right here. Don't say. Nah. All right, yo, did you do texture? Nah, yo. Nah, was it? What's? Let me see. Texture. Uh. Did you didn't texture either. Don't tell me you didn't. Nah, hold up. I'll tell you right now. Hold up. Um. Yes, Stephanie. Yes. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, that's the, that's gonna be the next one we're gonna talk about. But that, we're gonna talk about number three next, and then you can join that one. But did you okay. do texture so you could catch up with us? Hold up. Uh, Yo, matter of fact, how high do you be? What kind of strains of weed? Let us know, man. Some of the weed strains. Let us know. What's the fire? Man, man, I, I, I be smoking sativa, so it just be I be I be just on another world because I don't like um I don't like indica hybrid because it makes me slump. It makes me like sleep. Okay, yeah, sativa like got the, you working. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell yeah. you that too. I smoke sativa in the daytime. Mm. At night, I'm chilling. It's indica or a mix. Oh, I feel that. I feel that because the the um the effects it does for you, you know, at nighttime. So I 100%, feel that. man. I'm, I'm running around trying to do research for you, and you giving me the wrong producers. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, so we did. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Hold up. We did. Let's put the volume up on the joint. We did. Uh, we did Stephanie. All right. And did y'all do? I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just gonna go through them because we gotta go through them. You do go, yeah. did go breath. We did, did go. We did. We did. Ste- we did. Stephanie. Uh, go breath. Um, um and on the hammer. And, and one seventy. One seventy. You. We got four. We got four joints on there. And the rest is the males in. So yeah. You didn't do one seventy. Yo, she just. Nah, we no. Nah, we did one seventy. We did. We you did. did bird, you didn't do birds then. Nah, we didn't do birds. That was a dope track too, but we didn't. We you didn't did do birds. birds. Who? Who did nah. You? Have to do the nah, we, we did. Get, we gotta get to it. That was probably the manuals. So yeah, the officially, manuals. officially, what we did was we did. I run it through again. We did Stephanie. We did Go Breath, Arm and Hammer, and One Seventy. Those are the four joints. That those are the four joints we did. Now is it called the Mellows or Smellow? The Mellows. The the Mellows. Like think of think of the double L's as a G. Yeah. Or a J. So you would pronounce it Mellows. Oh. Okay. Because. It's 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 basically it's like because they're twins they're they're twins so it's like consider it um it's medjos it's it's a hyphenated or an abbreviated word for gemelos which is twins oh okay or oh, mejizo oh, mejizo which is a Spanish word for twins okay so that's where they get the the medjos from oh, see look at that because the the, the first this. half of the word is mejizos so they 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 call themselves the medjos. True Sife, I'm glad you're here, man. You know what I'm nah, man, appreciate appreciate you guys having me, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll play the I was on there. I was on a live earlier, man, just vibing out, man. I saw you doing the beats, man. I jumped on real quick. I was like, okay, you rocking out. You know what I'm hell saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, so the rest, Jamar Jamar Johnson for sure did the world is yours. And I think, I, yeah, I think Jamar did. Did he do birds too? I don't think so. I feel like that was the males. I, I know the males. This guy is the limit. I. I uh, I despise. I, who did? I feel like the males that I despise you too. Damn. And they did text me. So you saying, yo, so true, Cyber didn't do I despise you either? Nah, nah. 
We only did four joints on there. We only did those four, those four joints on there. I was like, you did six, and it was like, okay, I thought you did six. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't worry about it, man. Hey, this is hey, this this is this is why this is why I love doing this. No, but no, nah, but for real though, for real though, I'm playing, I'm playing, yeah, it's, it's True Cypher, Mayos, and Jamar Johnson is the only three yep. who produces, produce this project right here. So, um, whatever trust I get mixed up with, um, I got mixed up with, but those three produce, those are the three producers for these. Um, so, so, Jamal did more than one track? Jamal no, did Jamal one. only did one. To, okay, to the my, world is yours, okay. okay. Yeah, mistake me, if, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Jamal, if you're watching this, let me know. <laughs> 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 That's the only song that I heard his signature laugh on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. So. All right, let's get into at least one of uh, Truth for Cypher's tracks. He was next. Anyway, number two, number three, actually, is Stephanie. And uh -huh. it's I'm on that, uh, produced by True Cypher. I say on this one, man, rapper having fun with Stephanie. Sounds like this yeah. beat is influenced by Spain. Beat knocks <laughs> like Lynn police officers, man, when they be banging on the doors, man. <laughs> Wes Taylor is passionate with energetic lyrics, man. You know, I love this record, man. Let's talk about it, Wes. Talk about it. Uh, which, who wants to talk about it first? You want to start with the production first? Well, I mean, if you want, I mean, so okay, what's your word? It's, it's, I always say, I always say this. I think even, I even said it on one of my lives, like, um, approaching the creative process of producing. Um, it's very similar to how, you know, one of the goats, you know, Jay Dilla approaches production. It's like, it's, it's like, a, it's a feeling, you know what I mean? I get up in the morning, I may run through some joints and I've trained my ear long enough to hear when the sample kicks, it's like, I, that's the pocket right there. Mm. You know what I mean? And there's no, it's like, my our style continues to evolve so it's like we can, we're students to the game we're continuously learning um you know the whole premise is always to improve but that track came about you know just wanting to take it into a different space you know what i mean like mm -hmm. people get trapped in 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 you know the tropes of listening to you know jazz samples or listening to um uh you know soul samples and it's like there's so much music out there globally, you know what I mean? That you know you're you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't apply that ear to everything else. The fortunate you know thing for us is you know me and my brother. Like I represent because this is uh, True Side is a two man group. It's me and my brother Tones. Um, and I I tend to speak on both of our behalf most of the time because he's always in the in the background. <laughs> but um, we we grew up. You know, in a in a in a Dominican household, so like our ear was all over the place when it came yeah. when it came to music. music. Of course, you know, but you know, we're originally from Long Island. You know, what I mean, I'm from we're from Brentwood. Like, you know, when you mentioned Brentwood, I always equate it to EPMD. Like EPMD, I'm about to say, you know, what I'm saying like this this is like we like Tony lived two like three houses away from Eric Sermon. You know what I mean? Like, That's you fine. know, we were we were kids. You know what I mean? But it's like our the el the our our, our, our cousins and our you know the, the elder the elder kids that we looked up to they all used to hang out together so it's like we we grew up hip-hop we yeah. you know right from the early days you know what i mean so it's like that ear has been you know stewing in a pot yeah. for long you know what i mean for us to be able to just kind of to, to to approach things when it comes to musically in in a, in, a, in a larger space, not to be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna listen to this and this is what I'm working off of. We listen to everything. So it's like, that was the day that, like when that track came about with Stephanie, it was just like, I was on some shit. I was like, you know what? I heard that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, <crazy. laughs> I, my, my projects be it's concept based, you feel me? So it's like, I always have a concept when I'm working on a song. It's like, um, um, so like Stephanie, is basically like Romeo and Juliet, yeah. you know, because in LA, um, it's so seg segregated, you know. So it, you you trying to date somebody that's Spanish or Mexican, oh, they're gonna be on your ass, you know what I'm saying? Family or not. So it's a Romeo, it's a Romeo and Juliet thing, you know what I'm saying? Because in uh, LA, you know, it's it, 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 you really can't 
you can. So don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You can. There's a lot of. I, I have a lot of homies that date uh, Mexican women or married Mexican women. I think it's just it's a it's a challenge. You know what I'm saying? It's a challenge. <laughs> it is. It's that West Side Story. That West Side Story love. Yeah. So that's what that's basically that's basically what Stephanie is kind of about. But then also like f- fast forward, you know, now I'm kind of flexing and feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in Miami. You know. We eating good on South Beach, you know, where the Cubans meet, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm also I also embrace the culture as well. You know what I'm saying? So you get what I mean? So it's it's two, it's two play on perspectives on that song, you know. And I'm having fun with it too, because um I'm um I like I said, I come from a different environment where I embrace a lot of things. So I can say I don't care if you're a prostitute, you feel me? And, you know <laughs> because it's the culture and what and hey. what, what um well, um, what I was raised on, what I seen, you know, and what, what things that I like uh, digest, you know what I mean? My mom, my mom was cold with it. You feel me? She, she used to be in the car bumping like DJ quick, bumping oh. street three. She's bumping E40. My mom was a young mom. So she's, Ooh. so she's bumping, uh, you know, uh, D- Dr. Dre, you know, Snoop Dogg, you know, she was a big fan of Mac 10, big fan of West Side Connection, you know, big fan of Dolomite. Big fan of good times. Big mm, so these are things early. That, yeah, these are things early, that I'm, early outside. You know what I mean? So like I um I'm experienced and then my pops is a big fan of Prince, you know, a big, you know what I'm saying? He's a big fan of like funk, George Clinton, you know. Um, he's a big fan of like Oakland music, so Drew Down, uh Spice One, Richie Rich. Oh. Um, so you know, these are the music that I'm digesting as a kid. I like I'm so like I'm so hip hop, right. The first time I ever listened to a Tupac was uh, a Tupac Resurrection, the movie, the soundtrack. It was on a cassette tape when I bought that shit. That was, that was my first tape. It was a cassette tape. And I remember as a kid, putting it in there and listening to Tupac Resurrection. And that introduced got me. got the cross Tupac. on the cover, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That, you know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> um, I grew up really early of, of my household being hip-hop as well. It was just a different, a different um a different beat to it, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's it's, it's crazy like the love of hip hop could bring you know shit together, you feel me? And and that's what happens with when me and True Cypher come together. It's the love of hip hop and the love of like like I say it's it's the moth is a black exploitation film. So it's it's I want to bring it's it's comedy into that as well with Stephanie. You know, I want you to I want you to like what what did you just say? You know what I mean? I want you to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, watch the yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because if you watch Dolomite, you watch certain things. The Mac, you watch, you know, um, certain things like that. You don't, you be like, whoa, what the hell you see this say? Like, rewind. Because Dolomite was so vulgar. He was so like, you know, um, his, his he was so shocking. So it's just like it, at the time, it was just like, whoa, you feel me? So I, I kind of like, I kind of like, um, wanted to express that. You know that comedy because my family is big on comedy as well. You know, I, mean? oh, I love comedy. Oh. Yeah, we. I I went L.A. Road. I, I was going to like underground like comedy shows and stuff like that. You feel me? Like, um, I don't know if you guys hit to like Teddy Ray, Brent Taylor. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Like, I was. You know, what I'm saying I used to go to their comedy shows and stuff as a kid and watch them perform. And it, you know, and that and that and that culture is crazy too, man. It's, it's funny too. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so like I, I put all that all that blend into this into this project. So Stephanie is one of that that Dolomite track where I wanted to like shock you. Now I love it, man. Um, going back to True Cipher, you said something about uh, Dilla, um, mm-hmm. and it's all about sound. This and it talks about what Wes was saying too. Um, you know, you got he, you guys are picking these tracks together. He's listening to them. He's he's selecting the same ones that you probably love, right? So y'all got that the the quality is going there. So um, I heard. And I follow Jay Dilla. Is Jay Dilla one of the ones that you respected? You know, uh, absolutely. You know, what other, what other, absolutely. Producer, besides Jay Dilla, and you can speak on Jay Dilla. Oh, of um, course. I mean, do you, do you, do you honor, respect, and kind of, you know what I mean? Oh, honor, man. Honor, I don't honor, even think please. we got enough time, man. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> think we got enough time for that, yo. <laughs> but look, like, yeah, nah, but, yeah. <laughs> nah, but off top, you know, obviously Dilla, um, yeah. the Beat Nuts, you know, my, my, my brother Tones and I tend to, tend to, um, Beat nuts. That's I, a good, that's I, I always just... reference. 
A lot of people I don't always, talk about the beat nuts, yeah, though. Man. I always reference, I always reference um like when we when I talk about me and my and my, and my brother, I always say like we're, we're like I always say we're like the beat nuts. You know what I mean? Oh. Like it, it's it's that 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 funk, you know what I mean? But that 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 raw, that raw shit, you know what I mean? Um raw shit. Raw shit. <laughs> uh Dilla, Mad Lib, um Primo, you know, obviously. Um that's just off like that those, those, that's just like off Tommy Diamond D. Ooh. Uh who else? I mean Dr. Dre, you know. Yeah. Um I mean I, I could go on and on, you know what I mean? But like I just off top, like I, immediate the two like two of the, 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 the main heavy influences, especially um for us, has always been um aside of the beat nuts, has always been Dilla and uh and Madeline. Because <laughs> They they on some like some far out shit, you know what yeah, I mean? And it's like, like you can, on your own. yeah, yeah. You could you could sit here and you get your boom back, you know what I mean? Which is that's like the 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 foundation. They but take then, risks. They exactly, take risks. it it goes off, and it's like as long as I've learned that as long as you have not factor, you know what I mean? Like if your joint, don't regardless of the pace, regardless of the cadence, regardless of whatever, if you got your non factor in there, then you good. You know what okay. I mean? Because you're gonna find somebody like Westside Taylor that's gonna go in there and just it just skate all over the track, yeah. like yo, like nothing. You know what I mean? And then that's what happened, like for instance, with Stephanie. It's like Stephanie isn't a conventional hip hop track. It's just a it's a loop that was just like grimy and just dirty. You know what I mean? And yeah. for us, it was like yo, like that's what we're Madlib would do. That's what Dilla would do. You know what I mean? It's like there was no, like, there's no, there's nothing holding us back in that regard. Like you can express that. You know what I mean? You can express being out of pocket, being left field with it. You know what I mean? That doesn't necessarily have to be this this cookie cutter boom bap all the time. Mm. You know what I mean? It's great because one thing I learned working with Wes is that you have you have MCs, right? Because our job as producers. You know what I'm saying? Be it beat makers slash producers, because you could conceptualize an album from start to finish with, with a person, you know, that you're working with with an MC. Um, but as a boot as a beat maker, like our job is to provide a canvas. Wes is the painter. You know what I'm saying? Like for us, it's, it's to provide a canvas. It's like, yo, here's your canvas, here's your background. Now, how you splash on that and what you how you interpret what it is that you hear verbally, that's on you. But our job is to at least give you that canvas, you know what I'm saying, so that you have that that that, yeah, that ability to just say, okay, I can do what I, I can do what I want. But influences, man, like it could, could come from me, anywhere. Yeah, it Any could come from anywhere. It yeah. could exactly, and I, and I think, um, obviously, you know, this in this day and age, technology is a great thing. Um, but when you look at the amount of information that's accessible to you what we're doing now over the internet on YouTube, you know what I mean? Things of that nature, like yeah. the information that's available now, it's like, there's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, if people hear what they want to hear at the end of the day, but there's people, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Wes that are making quality music that are making solid music. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, people have a choice. You can listen to the raw shit or you can listen to whatever's on the radio. That's great. That's your preference. But at the end of the day, I, me and my brother got into this because it's always been in, ingrained in us from an early age. Yeah. And now that, you know, we've hit a certain level of, of, of mental maturity that we understood how to do certain things, how to, uh, you know, how to obtain certain things that allow us to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? It got to a point where it was only right for us to say, okay, you know what? We're ready now. Let's go ahead and just start putting our music out. And we're making the music that we want to hear. And thankfully, because of that, we're able to to attract the MCs that we like to hear on our music. And this is where you get them off. And you know, if you want to even do some earlier, you know, digging, uh, the three the three track EP that that we did with um with Wes called um, YG, self titled, yeah. yeah. dope album, in my yeah. opinion, one of the dopest albums. We still we still go back and forth like, yo, we should have made that shit a full EP, a full yeah. EP. Yeah, I'm so I'm so mad that we didn't we didn't like I, I really wish that he would like he like 
go, bro, no, bro, I'm we're doing the album. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. I didn't I, I didn't think ahead. I didn't yeah. think ahead until I went no. back to I was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, it's that that three track was like a it's like going to a restaurant and and they the appetizer is so good. And then like yeah. You talk about you talk about you talk about you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, you talk about Stephanie. You need to listen to you listen listen to YG. If you listen to YG, you'll understand. You'll understand. Like yeah. this tracks that the, the tracks that he picked for that 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 three track EP is even better than Stephanie. In my and, opinion, and yeah. Stephanie's dope, but Skin Diamond, psh, what? Yo, man, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Let me just tell you this because I know when y'all do do that whole album with producer West Taylor, and that's it. Y'all yeah. back on the show, we're gonna talk about it. Let's, yeah. let's oh, absolutely. Break down, let's break down uh, the fourth record. If you don't mind, two seconds. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't produce most of these tracks going forward, but just uh, uh, joining us in the conversation. Uh, the world is yours is produced by Jamal Johnson, man, bringing street. Tales back to life, man. There's a video to this, so y'all go check it out. The track is Passport Stamp Ready, uh, with international vibe. West Taylor, uh, is sea walking on Jamal Johnson's beat. Uh, <laughs> That's the bro, a moth in the flame, man. The wreck is fire, man. Let's talk about uh, the world is yours with Jamal Johnson. Yeah, um, the world, the world is yours. Um, I'm a big fan of Nas. That's one of the, um, like now if we get into the east coast, you know. Uh, the culture out and the culture out here when it comes to hip hop, I was influenced back then when I was a kid. So my mom used to listen to Nas. She used to listen to Jada Kiss because remember Jada Kiss used to make records with Mariah Carey. So from yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying. And then at the time, Jada Kiss made that song Why. So from that, so you know, so my mom used to have CDs of you know, my mom used to love Biggie. My mom used to love um, LL Cool J. My mom used to love, you know, like uh, what's uh, Big Daddy Kane. So I was introduced. Great. All the greats. Yeah, All you the know. Greats, yo. Yeah, my mom used to play Pay the Fool. Like, man, oh. what? That was her. That was her. That was her. Get up. You know what I'm saying? Get up. Let's get this money. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, but then me growing up and me being introduced to like, um dipset like 50 cent dipset th those are my like arrow gangster rap those mm. are you know like um makes sense yeah uh i'll say the locks too but i was more listening to 50 cent dipset at the time so you know about the mixtape era yeah mm -hmm. that's 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 yeah that's that's his era <laughs> yeah, dj drama that's uh, a good era to get involved in i mean i was before <laughs> that era but that's a good era that you know 50 is bad i'm a big fan of 50 cent you know what i'm saying like like yeah. i'm big i'm so big and, I, and it's like i was on 50 side when um when 50 in the game was beefing oh um, when it was had the little <laughs> yeah, when it was beefing, <laughs> east coast west coast oh, yeah. i know you were, you were west coast you were on the west yeah. coast at the time yeah it's, it's crazy <laughs> yeah it's crazy it's crazy but i was like nah i'm, I'm a big g unit fan i'm like nah, <laughs> I, can't. I love you gay you know what I'm saying? I love you. you know what I'm saying you're the best rapper to me. You, you, I know, but you like 50 you said that. I don't know. I, you know, know man. I like, I like to me, I gravitated towards the basket more than I gravitated towards your try to try because I think the basket was written better. Mm. You feel me? Like it was written better, like the, you know, Baltimore Love thing. That's crazy. Mm. You feel me? Like, I want to make records like that. You know what I'm saying? God gave me style. You know, if I die tonight. Yeah, y'all me a sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, like, and like the know, melodies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Yeah. Those are the type of feelings that like I don't want to give people because I'm a fan of that. Those are the type of feelings that I want to receive when I listen to my music. You know what I'm saying? You want records that's gonna uh, basically stay tuned, so they're gonna last forever, man. You know, and and be there uh, for longevity. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about number five. I despise. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. Again. I'm back. Yo, my fault. Hold on. The word is yours. I want to like. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. These are the word is yours is, is different events of of people choosing their choices. That's why in the second verse, I say, you know, 
this I was basically told by the kid um got robbed for his chain. You know what I'm saying? Like and 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 you know, and um because of his choice of trying to be at the same place at the same I mean at the wrong place at the wrong time, his choice to do that. You know what I mean? So I also told, you know, a story about I remember going to the park with my big brother for the first time. I'm like I'm like six, seven years old. And I see some, you know, two niggas fighting, scrapping, scatting, you know, and it was the first time I see somebody nose broke, crack. So I was, I was like, at six year old, I'm like, I, I vividly remember that to this day. Not just because it's like, it didn't traumatize me. It was more like, yeah, I don't want to get punched like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like, I no need sir. To, yeah, I need to make sure I swallow up. Like, yeah. I my hands, because I was like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? That was that was like so it was like it, it's different places and events of of either me being the participant or the the fit affiliated with it. I'm not doing it, but I'm around it. You oh no, I, I love the explanation and thanks for having that, you know, uh going right. back because um oh and shout out to uh Ben Frank, he's my co-host. Uh he's in the he's in this chat. What's up? What's up, Ben? Um, but yeah, man. Um, I like that, man. Uh, you, you, did you hear the record? Uh, True Cipher. What do you think about the record? Yeah, yo, the director was dope, man. Uh, Jamal Johns, like, dude. Him and I, we chatted back and forth. You know, what I'm saying we, um, you know, we, we've uh, we shared some pointers here and there. You know, what I'm saying on on the on the back end of things as producers. Uh, but that, that's a dude I respect big time. He's he's the dude got an impeccable ear. Uh just dope producer overall so it's like when i heard when i heard the track i'm like it was fitting you know what i mean like it it didn't it was everything was cohesive you know what i mean like the joints we did the joints that are on there this as the project overall like it didn't nothing felt out of place you know what i yeah. mean and when you get a producer that you know when you're working with different producers a lot of times the challenge you know in in, in uh in wes's case it's like how do I encapsulate all these sounds so that it sounds cohesive? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're dealing with different sounds. It's different if, you know, I'm not trying to put them on the spot, but, mm -hmm. you know, when that day comes that we we just make one solid album together, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you know, the you're going to, you, you know, our sound, it's that sound and that's it. But there's no, you know, there's no second guessing nothing. It's like, okay, yeah. that's true cypher. That's a true cypher beat all the way through. Yeah. But when you're on a project where it's like you, it's a collective of different producers, it's a cha it's it's got to be a challenge. You know what I mean? It's a challenge. Yeah. To just, okay, yeah. how do I get okay this this if this sounds muddy and dusty, you know, and grimy, and then you get something that sounds you know like direct and clean, but still still knocks. You know, like how do you m meld that together? And uh, Jamal Johnson as a, as a producer, like that's not even a question. Like he has that sound, so it's. Yeah. Like it's, Jamal, like it's like it's like a Lego piece, you know what I mean? Like the Lego pieces, like they all fit. Yeah. I was just gonna say, like Jamar really was the bridge of the true cipher and the males. Like you know, it's like two buildings, yep. and he was the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like on like two different areas, and he was he was that bridge. You know, he 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 really built that bridge of of, of flavors blending in very well with the waters. Yep. Yours. You know what I'm saying? Like and like um, and and that's the thing too because with with uh true cipher now that i like not thinking about it you you will know me and true cipher is like music like if you listen to um you know uh things come better than threes that's a whole that's a three that's another three pack that's very favorite you know um with a lot of people um i wish i i wish see i wish i made more to that you know what i'm saying like like yeah because it's like i'm prepared like i'm preparing for like I'm preparing like a build up with me and True Cipher. So when it get to a certain, a certain like, certain like while I'm working and everything and getting a certain build, that's when I'm like, all right, yo, True Cipher, let's do this. You feel me? So hell yeah. But it's yeah. coming. <laughs> it's coming. Cause I'm working Trust on that. It. It's coming. It's cause I'm working it's on coming. it. It's coming. I'm, Trust I'm, Trust I'm, coming. While, while I'm working on the album, I'm throwing things. I'm throwing things like, cause I know I got records that's going to be like, you know, more captivating. So it's like these are the records. It's like I love, I, I love so much. I want to share these records right now. 
You get what yeah, I'm man. Y'all, yeah, listen, yeah. y'all keep serving. Y'all keep serving appetizers, man. Stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to number five, man. Um, I despise you. Did we figure out the producer yet? Man, I feel like it was the man. We'll get back to it. Yeah, I think I think it was the menus on that one. Like uh, I, I could be wrong, but I think it was the menus on that one. Me too. Me too. I gotta. I gotta. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. All right. So uh, I say on this one, man. One take. One take. West Taylor is giving us West Side stories over this common and soothing track, man. Uh, this is another great track. I don't, you know, whoever we can get props to later, um, you know. And then you despise about. It. I can I can hear the anger, the passion in your voice on this record, man. You know, I'm glad I'm not on the other side, man. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm over here, Tommy. Cool, nigga. Uh, I got the right color on, nigga? I got the right color on. That's all I want to know. That's why I want to do two colors, nigga, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about I despise you, man. What's up? Man, that's, that's, man, that track is basically my frustration when it comes to death. You know what I'm saying? Like, um I, I experienced a lot of a lot of death around my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I can't I can't compute it, you know feel I me? Mean? Like I, I don't understand it. So it's like I, I despise you for even giving me these feelings, you feel me? Of 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 grief, of confusion, confliction, transitions, trying, you know what I'm saying? To like one person, um, one person is here, one person is gone now. How you transition to after that when you spend so much time with these people you can't call them no more you know what i'm saying like you can't go you know what i mean so it's like yes. i despise you for taking that away from me so that's 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 that that's that that's that, that that you know frustration because what can you do it's out of your control you feel me it's out of your control so that's that's what despise you you know um was um was really about you know what i'm saying so yeah 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 that's dope, man uh true side did you hear the record or did you, did you yeah no it? that that's uh <laughs> Pain, pain, leaking out. Yeah, the paint, the paint, yo. It's you know when they say like you know the 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 pen, you know, bleed through the through the paper. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's that that whole thing where it's like you you can that desperation, you can hear it. You know what I mean? And and knowing West personally, you know, on a on a on a personal level, you know what I'm saying? Like you come across certain moments where you know an individual suffers through loss, you know what I mean? And it's it's like, how do you process that? And right. You know, artistically, you know, being who he is, that's this is what the avenue is. Mm -hmm. Like, for me to process laws, I would process it through making music, you mm -hmm. know, making a beat. Whereas with Wes, it's he's taking you know pen to pen to pad, and yeah. just letting letting that out. You know what I mean? Getting behind, the, getting in the booth, getting behind the mic, and just getting it yeah. off his chest. Um, yeah, I, man. Hip hop therapy. Man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, facts. I be like to be honest. Sometimes certain records make me cry I, I, while I'm rapping. I'll be crying in the booth. Like I just let it go. That helps me let it go. I that's like that's that. when you know. That's when you know it's real, man. You know what I mean? I like being honest too, man. You know. And being, yeah, you know, that, that's honest. when you know. But that's when you know it's real. It's like, you know, I got to. I got to. You know, Wes. Wes and I met uh, on my first trip to Lynn, and it was on just me going down wanting to go meet everybody like i didn't have any music plan um it was just like yo i want to go down there i want to meet you know i want to meet the measures i want to meet sd mag i want to meet where are you everybody. from where are you from uh, I'm, from, I'm, from I'm, from, I'm from brentwood i'm from long island oh from you oh okay that's right you did say that my bad Why am I yeah so it was like <laughs> no nah, no nah, i'm from long island so it was like i mean i did i did i did you know i did a stint for 15 you know i was i lived in jersey for 15 years I was born and raised in Long Island. I did, went, you know, graduated high school, left to the military. Oh. When I came back, I went out to, uh, you know, I got my first married, went, got married and had a family, blah, blah, blah. Right. I was in Jersey for a little bit. And then, you know, fast forward, you know, four, started the third, moved down to uh, back. I basically came back home. And um, this has always been home. My brother lives out here. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my mom's in, in uh my mom's had since long retired, so she went back to the Dominican Republic. But um, I met Wes basically. He was the first, like the when I touched Lynn, when I literally touched Lynn. And mind you, I got family in Boston. Cool. I got my aunt lives in Boston. Okay. Um, I met Wes with uh with the Bro Supreme, um, and 
literally was like as soon as I touched Lynn, those are the first two people that <laughs> I I physically met, and it was like we broke bread, we chilled for a little bit, you know, went to the mini mansion, and it was just like fast forward, and it was like I was supposed to check into the hotel like after like two o'clock. It was like six o'clock in the afternoon, and I was still <laughs> running bread. around with folk, breaking <laughs> bread, just chilling. You know what I mean, like, but that bond. You know what I'm saying? Is that's why I always tell him it's like, yo, like when we say we're tied in, it's not even a, it's not even us. Like when I say we tied in, and he says we're tied in, it's like I approach it from a family perspective. Like yeah. that's family. Like yeah. he yeah. don't need, he don't need to ask for nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like music from a from a music perspective, it, he knows it's like, yo, if he wants a true cipher beat, he just got to tell me like, yo, I need send me a pack. Yeah. It's gone. That's bad. on site. Like you know, on site, it's gone. You yeah. know what I mean? Because. He never asked for nothing. He, you know, when we did our first project, the yeah. first True Cipher album that we did, it was a it was a compilation album. We got all the dopest from season. Guess who's on there? Westside Taylor. Did a joint called Hundred Grand. Yep. Did it off of love. Didn't even ask me. Didn't there was no no you go a feature, none of that. It was like, yo, I got you. Yeah. So it's like this is this is the working relationship that me and, and my brother Tones have with, with Westside Taylor with a number of di different MCs. We we have this thing where it's like, you know, we have a small collective of folk that we work with that it's it's on site. It's like, yo, you need it. We got it. It's there. And if we don't have it, we'll make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> yeah. but it's an we, organic um, relationship. Yeah, it's very, very organic. Very organic. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you notice, like, you notice we just, we've been giving y'all tidbits here and there, you know, three, yeah. four joints yeah. here and there. But yeah. it's, it is leading up to something. Like, we talked about Pringles. it before. But it's, it's no it's, it's no pressure. It's Mr. Salt, <laughs> Salt Bay. <laughs> but we don't. It's no. It's never no pressure because we understand. Um, you know, the the timetable of things. You know what I mean? Like, there's projects and things that we're working on outside of the things that Wes is working on. But that doesn't that never you know that never means that okay Wes needs something that we ain't gonna respond. Like right. it's that's it's whatever. You know what I mean? But. We're there, we're, we're, we're there for that. Like, yo, you need something, we're there, we're good. But it's like, that's the relationship that we have. It's always, it's, it's organic, it's never forced. Um, so this is why we say, it's like, for me, I'd rather, I, I'm, I'm, me and, and Tones, we keep stockpiling. So we just keep making beats. When we get into a creative, a creative, you know, rush, we'll make the, I'm going on record, like the, the day before yesterday, some of the joints that when, when I did my live that you hopped on, that was out of a batch of 20 joints that I did in the span of two days he be working man man he be working in two days and it's not like what kind of way I say about five seconds? like uh what's <laughs> that's true cypher just working that's true cypher man. put them out man yeah. Yo, man, I, yeah, I like man. the work ethic and I, I think I see it in both of y'all man the passion and the, and the demeanor of you know, uh, if getting this hip hop thing correct, man. Let's talk about a song that you guys are both on, actually. Number six, Goat Breath, featuring Bucket Top Boogs. I love oh, that's that. the bro. I love that's that. the bro right there, man. I love Bucket Top Boogs. Yo, yo, yo Boogs, uh, so Boogs. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me explain it real quick. And y'all, uh, my bad. Um, uh, this is by of course True Cipher. Um, hashtag No Gum Needed, man. That Goat Breath is. Is needed, man. Y'all go breath is needed. We need to smell that, man. Um, the, the music has uh like a uh it got that chipmunk cartoonish b-boy theme as rappers bar up though. Wes Taylor is winning double time with his booth work, feature bucket top bugs raps like he produces dope. Uh dope beat, one of my favorite tracks as well on the um album that stands out. Let's talk about goat breath. Who's first on this one, man? Uh go breath, go breath is is it's like an ode to Kobe Bryant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so um RIP Kobe Bryant and his and his daughter. Kobe, they, the the great. That's why you know um I I I never had enough to like see Kobe in front. So that's why I say I'm at the nosebleeds and I see how great Kobe is. I'm from a distance. And then I remember I was a kid I used to be at the Fox Hills Mall in LA and I remember seeing Kobe Bryant Man, like, it was the first time I seen so many Asian people, like, just crowded, like, shoulder to shoulder at the Fox Hills. 
And if you ever been to Fox Hills, the mall is pretty big. And um, I mean, it's not that crazy big, but it's pretty big. You know, as a kid, you thought it was, but yeah, you got yeah. people crowd up. And um, and um, Kobe Bryant couldn't even talk. Like, hey, ah, he's like, ah, <laughs> Kobe Bryant, like, yo, calm down, like, yo, calm down, calm down. Like, so to see that, to see that influence, that shit is like, I was like, okay, nah. Kobe Bryant's a go outside of basketball. I, these are people oh, yeah. this dude. You feel me? So, I, and I got to experience. I, I got to experience seeing that. So, and then like, um, it's also like, um, it's also an alignment to I despise you. It's also an oh. alignment. That's why I wanted. That's why. I, that's why the tempo went up. The feeling got. Mm. I want the feeling to make you feel better after hearing that track. So what True Cipher did with that with that beat. He blended he, he it blended really well because it's like it was like darkness to light. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, it's, it's kind of like a lighter tone. Yeah, that's why I was yeah, saying. Yeah, the sun is up. I, I'm up, and we just now we just talking about present. We present now. What's going on right now? So that's why Bucket Top also, you know, um, expressed what you know what his thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, and I feel like when two two Thought provoking people, this is when you get the breath of a goat. You know what I'm saying? This is how this is how it feels. This is how, you know what I mean? This is how like it smells. This is how, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's why I want to express a goat breath. Yeah. Yeah. When 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 I made when when I made that track, uh it was just me listening to soul samples, but my ear was gravitating towards uh, you know. Like I wanted to find those those that that sweet spot as far as you know a loop is concerned, and um, here's what I mean about you know your approach to a, you know creating something um, and not having any restrictions. You know what I mean? Not limiting yourself um, to you know or confining yourself to okay, this is what I have to make. You know that beat came about because I was in a in a creative space where. I was just feeling it like the, the speakers mm. were thumping and I was chopping shit up and, you know, I sped the sample up, I, you know, the, 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 just the, the, the strings, everything. It was just like, again, it's a feeling like people yeah. don't understand, like people understand, but they, they really don't. And so they, you know, you know, there's, there's people like yourself, you know what I'm saying? And, and, a, and a number of people get it, you know what I mean? But it's like, there's something therapeutic about, finding you know there's 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 truth to what they say about um mood music you know what i mean about how a song invokes a feeling mm-hmm. you know what i mean and a lot of it has to do with the, the octaves the tonage of it and that song it was just like again i was digging through soul samples and i was like this is it right here and in my in, in my usual fashion you know what i'm saying West knows how I operate. I'll make a couple of beats mm-hmm. and then I'll be like, yo, here, what you think? I'll send a batch. And here's the thing, like, as a producer, me and my brother, when we work, when we send people music, we give them the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to, okay, run through the joints. We never take it personal because guess what? When Wes and I are in the same space, it's very different. Because Wes can sit there and see the samples that I'm working with. And he'll say, nah, I don't work with that one. Try this or do yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Um, or in this situation where Wes, you know what? I got certain samples in mind. I want you, I want to see what you could do with it. Because who doesn't I, like a challenge? I crate dig. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. What you do? I, I crate dig, yes. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like that. I'm I think that for the producers. That's a producer question, but go ahead. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I will go it. to a record store. Like if you're, like if you're pres- we're in the studio and we're and we're working on samples, looking for different. Samples. No, we're going digging. Let's we're going go. digging. And absolutely. I buy like I will. Yeah. Go, when I'm in LA, like I will like I, I, I'll go to crate dig it and I'll bring some back to you know to the East Coast and I'll be like, yo, mm-hmm. simply like this. I don't know what to sound because they don't. I don't have. Um, I, have I have a vinyl player now, but sometimes at the time I, I didn't have a vinyl player, so I'll be like, I'll go to the studio, like, yo, see what this sound like, see what this funk sounds like, see what this. Yep. Weird, 
um, you know, record sound like. Man. So yeah, um, I'm, 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 that's like, I'm a big fan of doing that. I love doing that. Like, yeah, I love man. Nah, and, and, and it's like we. So when that when when we work, like if we're in the same space, it's easy to produce a record together. It's easy to come up with a concept. It's easy to to produce, quote unquote, produce something. But when we working in our in our own individual silos, you know what I'm saying, our own creative spaces. Mm-hmm. I'll communicate with Wes periodically. We're not on the phone every day, but when we do get we connect, it's, it's always love. But it's like we're not we don't talk every day. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times he may not even tell me, like, yo, I'm looking for X, Y, and Z. So what I do is knowing him and what I feel like I think he likes, I'll send him a batch of stuff. And it'll be a, a, an eclectic mix of stuff because I, I trust true ciphers. I, became, I trust true ciphers like vision when it comes to my style of rap. So it's like whatever beats that he think he can hear me on, or whatever he thinks like I'll sound good on, I trust that. Like go breath. Like yeah. The, I was okay. like, this is this is the sound. I was like, okay, now I feel like you know what I'm saying now I feel like it's a, a understanding of the sound and the brand of Wes Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's a good, like he'll be on the, like if this was a TV show, he'll be on the production side. You know what I mean? The production of Martin, of Martin. The produ- you know what I'm saying? All right, mm-hmm. right, right. When he tell this joke, this is the right sound is gonna sound. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what, if he gonna say this, this is what, this is when the crowd gonna laugh. You feel me? So it's like, I feel like that's what like, you know, True cipher sapples and beats do for me. You know what I'm saying? And so it's, it's, like, it, it's only the beginning, man. It's yeah, only the beginning. Dope. Like, yeah. I'll be thinking deep, my fault, y'all. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got you got me thinking like you go get up, you get a couple of records, you crank dig, you bring them back to cipher, and you be like, yo, you know, you play this, play this. So maybe you already heard the records, and then you already did your homework, and you tell them you already know what song or what clip you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, do you get production credits but with that? I don't know how that y'all break that down. Look at Cypher. No, 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 you like that. No. <laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. No, nah, it's not. Nah, honestly, it, it just, you know, not that we, not that we put our business out there like that, but like, you know, we, we don't charge, we don't charge for beats. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Wes does the, the responsible thing in the sense that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's any splits or whatever, you know he handles that, yeah, yeah. I know. But yeah, yeah. that's that's just that's just that's off the strength of because he wants to do that. We don't we don't we never press we don't press. You know, what I'm saying our contribution is okay. You know, he has the beat and he's putting it out into the world. And you know, I'm on your I'm on your show now because off the strength of West because we're, you know, nah, I appreciate West it, is man. West is big enough who we are. You know what I mean? And and that's that's all we can ask for. It's it's you know we help each other in that regard because, you know, at the end of the day, this this uh this machine, you know that we're that we're working, um, you know we have a responsibility to, you know, to put out as much as we can, and represent for each other as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for that I'm I'm always I'm always grateful because, you know, it's, it can get real it can get real muddy. You know what I'm saying? When people start talking about and and very impersonal. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like, you know, uh when you start talking about finances and you know, and, and it gets very black and white, and it's like yeah, yeah, you know, I Wes, I I'm you know, meeting Wes for the first time and just how we built everything is always it's always gonna be for the love. Like, yeah. you know, it's it's always gonna be for the love. At the end of the day, if he if he makes you know what I'm saying a, a, a good water off of everything that he puts out, that's great. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you know, that's we can ask for, for more, but the well, type of person I am, though, and anybody, <laughs> anybody, can say, you know, anybody can agree to this. I always, I, I, I always share. I always give. I, I don't, I, because it's not about money to me when it comes to this music shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's about the art. It's about the culture, and I, I feel like I am culture. I am art. So to me, it's just like it's about it's God and love. And I can, I can. Yeah, it's about I can, that. I don't mess with y'all. I just mess with y'all. Yeah, nah, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It does go deep. Oh, yeah, it's just talk about money. Yeah. It gets a little. It gets a little sticky in the, in the business. And I think this is true talking. A lot of people yeah. need to listen to these interviews 
Yeah, I feel like I want to real. Up. Have a have a little sense of humor at the same time. Hell yeah, do us. Love, man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Stop going green. Get your cheese and get your money. Man. <laughs> get your bread. Get your bread. Let me uh, let me fire some shots for my boy in the chat. That's uh Rain, man. Rain is King, man. Uh he's a rapper yep. from um Detroit, I believe. Rain oh, Breckman is wrong. Love this rapper. Uh y'all y'all tap in. He's he's gonna, of course, he's gonna tap in with y'all because he you know I'm tuned into y'all. He's one of them dudes who's like, yo, I, I heard dude last night. I listened to him after the podcast, bro. Man, Let's yo, talk I, about the um one I, of the last tracks. I, well, I'm sorry, get my father. I just want to shout out Detroit, man. I love y'all yeah. music, man. I love y'all culture. I've never been out there, but I'm a fan of y'all coach. Yeah, man. Shout out to the D. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Detroit, man. It's about number seven, which is one of the, I believe, the last joints on this album that you have, uh, Cypher. Um, it's called Arm and Hammer featuring, and now it's, y'all pronounce this Megos? Not the Megos, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a Shmeo, because uh, that's, that's, that's uh, the other twin. See, it's Shmeo and then it's, it's Sway. So they rap and they Sway. produce. They rap yeah. and produce, yeah. They, they, they the business. Yeah, okay. man, they man, check them out, man. They 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 from Lin too, and they really are the catalyst to a lot of things that's going on and within the culture of Lin. You know what I'm saying? Because nah, Lin, a lot of people don't know Lin have two sides of the coin when it comes to this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? You got the one that's like you got the one side that's like on the auto tune singing mel- melodic type, and you got the other side where it's like grimy rap. You know what I mean? Like that uh if new york influence you know type of music you know i mean it's not it's you know like east coast influence it's boston I mean? influence mm-hmm. i mean you know boston, boston flu- yeah 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 it's boston mm-hmm. yeah, Lynn, lens boston flu- so i'm a hammer i say it's uh it's, it's cold outside but features the features and um and, and, and the artist is on their john wick lyrical warfare west taylor Join this soulful track with the uh, uh with money over bitches aura. Um, they put a they put a dent on this joint, man. I like this one. Another one that stands out. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for that album. Y'all, 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 y'all drive me crazy. So <laughs> my, my favorite joints are the ones with y'all. But anyway, uh, I love the other producers. Don't you know? No, no bias. Um, uh, but uh, talk about Armor Hammer, man. Um, That's just that Armor Hammer is just really um, but um. Well, me and me and, and, and Shmuel's collab is it, yeah. it's dope. You feel me? It's and it's like an ode to him too. You know what I mean? It's an ode to him because what you know what he did for me. You feel me? So that and I, but also I want to. I like I said I like I like being calm. I like the comedic sides of me rapping. So it's like you know because a lot of people you know don't think I'm black. People, a lot of people be like, you, <laughs> you what? <laughs> a lot of people be like they question your light skin, man. They question your light question skin. Me, man. I'm a beige nigga, man. So, <laughs> beige, beige. <laughs> so they put the khakis up to your face, like yo, what I'm gonna Man, so it's like so so it's like Afro picks, and you know what I'm saying, and and you know, and Afro she and Afro picks, how black can I get? Like, damn, what you know what I'm saying? Like my shit not just like yours. So it's a it's a it's a comic way of saying, you know what I'm saying, like like. Don't get it confused. You feel me? Like, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bugging because was it was a complete opposite for me when I was going. When I was in high school. Uh, people automatically assumed I was, and again I say I'm I'm black, but yeah, people yeah. automatically assumed I I didn't speak Spanish until they heard me speak in Spanish and they're like, oh shit, you talking that Puerto Rican shit? I'm like, that's <laughs> that's another way to insult. That's another way. Nothing not against my Puerto Rican peoples because as as people too, but it's like that's one of the quickest ways to insult a Dominican. Because yo, yo, yep, yep. Dominicans the like to be confused. Yeah. With, don't like to be confused with Puerto Rican. So it's like yeah. it's like nah, man. Like Puerto Ricans aren't the only people that speak Spanish, bro. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I, because I, I was I, that's how hip. That's how much. That's how much hip hop I was. That. They automatically assume it's like, oh, you know, he's black. And then the moment I started opening my mouth and I started speaking Spanish, they're like, oh shit, okay, he's no, talking that Puerto Rican shit. <laughs> no, that's you know, it's crazy because um, on the West Coast, it's not it's not, Dominican culture is not very big on the West Coast. Mm-mm. So just like in Texas, in Texas is more it's more Mexican. I had a, a, a uh, when I was in the Marines, one of my um one of the sergeants that I used to work with, uh, it was the same thing. His reference point for anybody Hispanic was Mexican. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's not even it's it's, all it's, in the cluster. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, 
it sounds it sounds prejudice. It really do though. Don't get me wrong. It sounds prejudice. Yeah, yeah it does. It is prejudice, man. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you said it sounds, dude. It is. No, it is. Like, it is. You, it if is. you go to if you go to LA and you when you're talking about you Dominican, they gonna be like, what? Nah, you Mexican. Yeah, because they don't they don't know. Out here, out here, out here, they're not gonna look at you. Cops, people, whatever. They're not gonna look at you. It's like, oh, that's a Dominican man. You know what I'm saying? Like. They go on automatically soon because out here is just like, and then like because Dominicans and Puerto Ricans they have a hard time with the Mexicans. If you go out, of if course. you go out there and they move and you move over there, you talk about your Dominican and the Mexican neighborhood, you're gonna have a little, you know, you have some fights, especially as a kid, you're gonna have some fights, man. So, so but like my first time, it was crazy. My first time even introduced to a Dominican, he was, uh, he was dark skinned he he looked black. Right, so I'm, I'm I'm not thinking. I'm like, and I'm I'm a candle nigga. I like candles and shit. You feel me? Smooth nigga. You know what I'm saying? Silk and all that. You know, <laughs> I, I, I like to smell good. Clean this, that's the guy. You know, you think you more on a light skin than the medium. More you talk, <laughs> you talk man. Like like uh, silk robes and uh, <laughs> 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 Billy D. Williams. <laughs> 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 So, I like, I'm looking for candles, right? I'm like, hey, bro, bro where are the candles at, bro? And he was like, hey, I'm like, did you just say, what? Just say hey, like, hey, like, I know in Spanish that means what? So I'm like, hey, what? I'm like, right now. Yeah, so I'm like, candles, bro, like, candles, bro. He starts speaking Spanish. So I'm like, whoa. So I'm calling my homies back home. I'm like, yo, bro, black people out here speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and to find out, um, he was Dominican, because and 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 Dominican is, is is you got all shades. Oh yeah. You know? oh, yeah. My brother talks. My brother talks. My brother talks. Like I'm me. My brother talks is darker than me. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. Miss Taylor, you to be honest, like you know, I grew up. I grew up uh, in uh, a Cape Verdean neighborhood. You kind of look Cape Verdean, to be honest. Mm. I, I I I didn't hear about Cape Verde until I moved out here. I had never heard about it late too. <laughs> and I was here. <laughs> that was going on, man. Yo, let's talk about number eight. I got a game we're gonna play after this. Uh, there's some questions real quick. But number eight is uh 170 featuring hidden character and Al Davino. Uh, I, so this is not, this one's produced by True Cyber too, right? Yeah, yeah we did okay. that one too. Sure, for sure, for sure. Now this Yo, track has. A, uh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. That's just, okay. Um. <laughs> This track has that like that Zelda feeling as all rappers spit venom, man. Wes Taylor is rapping, rapping. Hidden character stamped the package with a good verse. Then Al Davino shut it down with the uh with his grimy voice, man. Shout out to uh 170, the uh, the, the song and the features, man. Talk about the features, talk about the song, and uh, of course the beat. Um freaking 170 is a freeway, um, you know, um in LA. You know, in the valley area. So you know, one seventy and one seventy take you to you know to the five. So and you know, so uh, different different places. You know, it is from the five or to the four or five to the one o five to the three. You know, you know all all yeah freeways, right? Yeah. So, but so I wanted to name the track one seventy because you know certain incidents that happened over there. So you feel me? And um, it the characters one of the homies. You know, what I'm saying like. And Al Davido's one of the homies. So he's like, he's like, like they the homies where it's like, we don't even talk about music. Like that type of homies. Like, we don't even. So sometimes when they in the studio, we're just in the studio chilling. Those are the tracks. And that's one of the tracks that um I was recording. And Al Davido was like, yo, this shit is hard. Like, let me get on this. So it was like on some like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, you know, hey, can you like, yo. Yo, bro, how you, you like this song, bro? Get on, can you get on the future for me, bro. Like, you know, it wasn't no ex words exchanged like that. It was just like they was feeling it. They got on it. Had the character was there. We was just chilling, smoking. You know how the mini matching goes. You feel me? It's a it's, so it's just and I and then um <clears throat> and yeah, man. I wanted to, I wanted you to feel nighttime in L.A. You know, mm. what I'm I want you to feel that. You know, what I'm saying I want you to feel nighttime. You know, what I mean, because. Because I was a kid that was I was a kid that was really outside, you know what I'm saying. And so I want you to, I want you to feel, you know, you know, certain elements that that 
that you know that you want to receive. So that's what 170 is, you know what I'm saying? And head and character and Domino come from that cloth, you know what I'm saying? So they could talk about it. it it's just it's just different perspectives because of different environments that we we're in. You know what I mean? But it's the same shit though, no matter what. The same crack as you see, the same crack as I see. The same, <laughs> same you know what I mean? It don't matter what we yeah, all East see. Coast, West Coast crack case. We don't which one's the worst. Flavor. You know what I'm saying? Nope. Like, Man, look, 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 you know, West West Coast crackers are more energetic, like because they got the good shit probably over there. The coke, they <laughs> yeah, and then the crack, they 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 smoke more uppers and they more like just hallucination. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, crackers is like you feel me. I I, I know y'all be taught this too, but you don't fight a crackhead, man. You're not going. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> nope. Go they got that crackhead strength. <laughs> Out here, like like, out here. Like, ah! yeah, word. I feel like out here they're more zo zombie fired. Yeah, they just zone, they zone out. Yeah, I think they're just more just slump, more zombie fired, you know, out here, man. Where it's just it's it's the whole the whole concept of numbing the pain, like they literally take that to yeah, world. yeah. It's a little bit more depressed out here when it comes to the crack. Like crackers when I was growing up, like it was kind of funny, like. Like we know they do, they you know we know they. It's not funny like crack is, but they do funny shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, you know what I mean, out here, just like damn, like damn, like you feel more me? Depressing, more depressing, more than yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You go on Mass Ave, you know, bro. Like I, I went, I was on Blue Hill. Places. I, was, I was on Blue Hill by that uh, Jamaican restaurant, um, Flames. Flames, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, that's on Blue Hill, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. On Blue, it's on Blue Hill. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, you Blue know, Hill. a lot of people, like, I party, you know, I party a lot in Boston, man. I was in different different places in different times yeah. in Boston. So, seeing Blue Hill Mass Ave, bro, that's, that's an equivalent to, like, going to L.A. and seeing Fig, Fig Royal, Fig, you know what I mean? And, and the, um, in downtown L.A., you know what I'm saying, just the, the drug culture. You know what I'm saying? Just it yeah, just this shit crazy. It's crazy. Uh, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> well, I, I wanna to I wanna take a sec though. I want to thank you for um for sharing that tidbit. Uh that's the that's more fire up my back, you know what I'm saying, in regards to um you mentioning what you know what Davino thought of, of 170. Oh. Um because you gotta understand like when I came into the fold, as far as like meeting everybody for the first time, when I went to Lynn, um, is what he made he made Wes make mention of it. It's like when you're in the in the mini mansion, it's very organic. It's like everybody's chilling, people are watching movies, people are talking, you know, you're smoking out or whatever. Yeah. But everybody's chilling, everybody's just chilling, talking, everybody's building. My opportunity was to chill out with them, and I told them, listen, I got beats, and I literally told them, yo, I got over a thousand beats, man. Like I this I didn't come with like. 50 beats. I came with my laptop, my full setup, my NPC. Like I was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And you know, one of the twins was like, yo, hook your shit up and just fucking. And I literally was just like running through it. And just like how I was on the live, it's like, you know, I go through my phases where it's like, okay, I may play something that I think you may like, but it's like a DJ. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you got you, you read the room. And I knew with certain tracks, when most of these cats were sitting there looking like they were catching this, the, the Holy Ghost, that they were just sitting there. <laughs> mumbling that's when i knew that i had something because they rap and then, they put a verse right because they're rapping on the yeah they're putting a verse together under their breath like or i'll play something and it's like they're just having a conversation and i'm like all right that's why they're not really you know they're not feeling that. Attention, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. thing is i got nods i got aside from wes and, and a couple of a couple of the other heads that were there like i got nods i got nods from knack himself like yo okay like that's just fire right there you know what i mean but he was more hosting. He didn't really partake into, into like wanting to rock, you know, drop anything. But that weekend produced um, a, a EP that me and and, uh, and and the Majos the Majos dropped it. I think last year. Um, what, what? Uh, yeah, the the crypto the cryptocurrency joint. Cryptocurrency, yeah. And I did two joints on there, and the thing is. The two joints all came from that weekend that I met them for the first time. They literally, oh. literally was just like, "Yo, that beat, play it!" And it's like they just started right. They wrote their verses and they just recorded to it right then and there. Ooh, 
Those are the <laughs> ones, man. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, for, for you know, Wes letting me know, like, yo, like, because I like, all, I, I love all those guys. Freaking Davino, hidden character. Like, I put it this way. The 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 first night that I was there, it was but when when the dust settled that everybody basically broke you know chilled and everybody went home. It was literally just me, Nat, and the hidden character just chilling. And when I was like, I'm about to leave, it must have been like maybe two three in the morning. Um, SD Nat, you just said Nat. SD Nat, yeah, I just SD Nat for sure. But what I'm talking about, SD Nat. Yeah, SD Nat. He just throwing names around like you know. You yeah, know. I'm, <laughs> but, Excuse me, I don't know. Nack, you know no, but the hidden character, the hidden character, literally was like, "Yo, he didn't leave until I left," and it was just like, because you know, I'm. Listen, I'm again. I'm from Brentwood, and this is the hood, just like anybody any, anywhere else. Like, we have our nice places, and we have our places that you can't tr you can't go down. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I'm I'm an old head, so I know the difference. You know what I'm saying? And I'm aware of where I can and can't go and how to move. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I went to Lynn, I never felt out of place. You understand what I'm saying? Like it didn't feel unnatural to me. Like, mm. you know, like when you go to, you, you go to a spot, you're like, all right, uh, I got to leave. Like I've yeah, been, I've been, in, I've been in New. Listen, man, I, I lived in Jersey. I've been in Newark. Okay. I know the difference between going down one specific block and <laughs> not going down another. You know what I mean? And Lynn, um, and Lynn, and Lynn it is crazy because my fault with Lynn is, it, Excuse me, but like part so, but mm -hmm. I just want to say this lid is like it has so much elements in one city where mm -hmm. you don't even know, you wouldn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's funny, like it's like if one street is it's like a whole different element, and then like another street, I was like, Oh, it's 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 night, like it's all right, it's but, peace. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like it's 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 tricky like that out here because it's no territory. It's not territorial out here. You know what I mean? So it's like in LA, 100%, 100%. yeah, in LA, like yeah, Austin, LA's you know, different. Got more yeah, territorial like for land and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Even like there's certain places I'm not going to go. Like I like when people like um ask me about certain places, like I'll say like East LA. I ain't never been in East LA I, for what? I don't know anybody. I never. That's a whole different area that I would I wouldn't even go to a restaurant over there. You feel me? I mean, I would if it's if I know it's a like a a middle ground, but I'm gonna have second thoughts of all right, what you know? what I'm saying I'm gonna have second thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. So yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent, man. But, yeah. but uh, part of y'all blessings, uh, uh, gentlemen. But let's get through this album real quick. Yeah, like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we going off here. Yeah, yeah. We going. We off topic. I don't want to have y'all for three hours. Y'all gonna be like this dude was in the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number nine birds featuring Dutch Casey. Uh, this was you said this was produced by I feel, like, I feel like that was a male. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I, 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 I'm hopefully, hopefully, I'm <laughs> hopefully they get that. I'm gonna stand on that. I think that was a All right, so uh, hashtag watch out for the birds, hashtag chicken heads, man. Loving the track, the music takes you away and just sounds so soothing. West Taylor is just trying to survive the block, featured Dutch Casey. Matches the survival uh, energy on this record. Um, yes, we going with birds, man. What's up with this one? The chicken. Yeah, game. so birds is just basically telling you know, um, watch out for these culture vultures. Watch yeah. out for, watch out for you know, um, people just trying to rob you for your energy. You know what I'm saying? Rob you from your light. You know what I mean? Watch out for that. You know, because mm -hmm. it's it, and it's like, and I also like I said, I'm blending two coasts, um, in a mix. You know, so that's why I say, you know, walk around the comments got me feeling like I'm in Compton. You know what I'm saying? Because um, at nighttime, you walk around Boston Commons, you know, you're going to see a lot of activities at nighttime, you know, even in Lane Commons. So these places got to remind me of certain places that I, you know, that I encountered. So, yeah, so so all that. And then Dutch Casey, he, from, um, he was born in Jersey, but um, he was raised in L.A. So he... He's a he's 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 the opposite of me. You get what I'm saying? Like he's uh, he's you know he he he's very East Coast when you listen to him, but he's on West Coast like beats and production and time. So he kind of sound like a corrupt. You mm. know what I'm saying? He don't sound like corrupt, but you gonna get that feeling if you know where he's from, where he's at. You know what I'm saying? Like because Dutch Case is amazing. You should check him out. He's amazing. Nah, I will, man. Every feature on here that you he's have. Um, 
Damn, it's not Newark. What's the other places that's crazy in Jersey? Damn. Oh shoot. I mean, you got Newark, you got um uh Patterson. Nah. Uh you got um even Elizabeth is buck wild. Uh it's it's, it's more towards Philly. More towards Philly. Oh, you uh, Camden. He's from Camden. Okay. He's from Camden. But uh, yeah, Camden is wild, yo. Yeah, 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 man. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> he's like, hey, yeah. Camden, Camden is wild, yo. And then I, you know, that's what that's what and, uh, that's what uh, birds is really about, man. Watch out, man. Don't let these people don't let don't get fooled out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't stay, on the, out here. Stay, stay on the swivel. <laughs> Did you like that record, birds? Uh, True cipher. Yeah, that's, that's one of my. It's aside of aside of the ones that we produce is one of my favorite joints on there too, man. Oh, like, nice. It's 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 a dope dope track to you know, like, to close out the album and everything, and it's you know what it is. My my uh my compliment to you know any other producer that I work with has always been a situation where I'm like, shit, why didn't I think of that first? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's uh, like, damn, why didn't I think of that first? You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's it was that was a dope the, the the sample, everything. It was like, damn, like that's that's one of the first joints when um when I, when he dropped the project that when I heard it I was like, yo, like who this? Mm. <laughs> like this shit is fire. This is fire. Mm. Dutch, right. Dutch, Dutch went in on that too, man. It was yeah. dope track. Let's go to the last track. Then we're going to get you out of here with a game. Uh, and then y'all can promote, man. Number 10 is Sky is the Limit. Um, this one is the, it's, you know, the this blues joint is funky like James Brown's neck sweat. Pause. <laughs> Sky <laughs> is the limit for this artist, man. He already got movement to the moon, West Taylor to the moon, man. Sky's the limit for the, uh, you know, Everybody on this joint, especially West Taylor as the artist, uh, 2022 Ocean Park Collective. Man, talk about it, West Taylor. What's good, man? Last track. Um, Sky is the Limit is basically like not agreeing with uh, uh, Sky is the Limit. Like, you know, uh, it's like the crab in a barrel um, perspective. And I'm like, nah, I don't believe that. So I said, Sky's the Limit. I, right, I'm going to aim for the moon. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 the that's the attitude I have because it's like, you know, um people are always trying to like just people are always trying to just, you know, shut shit down, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Or try to or try to limit or limit yourself. So I'm just telling the people, don't let nobody limit you, man. Don't let the sky is not the limit. It's 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 it precedes that, you feel me? So um that's what basically the track is about. And also, you know, if I if you listen to it, um, I'm talking about what I'm going through as well. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, minor seizures got me nervous. You know, I get seizures sometimes. So if you read, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if you read, if you really listen to it, it's, it's, it's but that shit's not making me like, it's not like, it's not stopping me for nothing. You feel me? Like what? Exactly. It's not, it's not, it's not being a crutch for you. It's not your crutch. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> So yeah, you know what I'm saying. So sky is the limit, all right. You know what I mean. Um, I have to remember the lyrics too. So I'm, 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 I'm and then you know, and I and I shouted out, I shouted out uh, Baller Rob. He's a rapper. Um, I shouted out uh, Kyrie Todd again, blending two two um, worlds together. You know, because Baller Rob is from LA, Kyrie Todd is from Lynn. He's a but he's not a rapper. Kyrie Todd is a, a boxer, and um, and. Um, same way he same way he admired me, I admire him, you know, through you know, through his endeavors and through his journey of trying to be, you know, trying to get to a next level of boxing. So he's an underground boxer, you know, same as I'm an underground rapper trying to get to another plateau. You feel me? So it's like, so that's why I wanted to shout him out because I see that. You know what I mean? And I, and I just support and I always gonna respect him. He's fine, you know, he's dope. He's dope, man. For real, for real. So yeah, yeah. So I shot, you know, shout out to them. Then um and then, um, and I wanted to say, like, you know, this West Side shit is forever in me, but I'm on the East Coast now. Nah, I love it, man. Shout out to this album, man. And, um, you know, it's a great project, man. Talk about your first question before I get to uh, the game real quick and get you out of here. Is ownership, is that your record label? Like, talk about independence. Is that a place where you want, you want to be and you're going to be there? You feel comfortable and you think you'll be there uh, as long as it's profitable? Yeah. Oh. Um, 
Um, I don't, I'm not one of those dudes that I'd be like, yeah, man, like I ain't never gonna be signed, man. I'm independent all the way. I'm doing this, it's all by myself. Nigga, help me. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Come to my door and it, and, it, and, it, and it's talking right, and you can get me to the next platform to to express my art. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? Now I do this for the love of art, but if a nigga can win a Grammy, I'm not about to. Oh, hell yeah! I, hell I'm yeah. not close to that. <laughs> what? Nah. So yeah. So right now I'm doing everything independently, and I got. You know, I got trusty. I got like trust in, in certain people to help me build my brand. But if nigga, if if I hear that at the door, like, <laughs> hey, bro, we gonna have to sign this, bro. We <laughs> like let's 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 take the next step. So yeah, I'm never. Well, I mean, you can still do it because Benny, you know, Benny, you know, Westside Gun and all of them. They show that you can sign and do one one album. Yeah. And then you get a bigger crowd, and now you can go back to being independent and, and lacing the joint. Once yep, you got exactly, to your fan exactly. base. Exactly. It's, it's it's like it's like what's it called? Shark Shark Week? Shark Tank? What's, what's when the people of business people go to a oh Shark Tank? Those are two different things, man. You talking about Shark Tank? Yeah, Shark Tank. What people of business? Is basically, <laughs> yeah. basically, what artists do? Hey, I'm this this and this, and and then, and then three you know people, three white people, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Be like, all right, we like him. We are gonna invest in him. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, what I mean, when I get the opportunity to do that, then hell yeah, nigga, come on, help me, man. I'm trying to get to the loop too. Don't be stingy. Nah, yeah, you gotta get the bag. <laughs> you gotta get the bag, not the Puff Daddy bag, but the other bag. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You cipher. What about you in that? You know, in that realm, would you ever go? I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, up? listen, man. At the end of the day, it's about, um, you know, it's it's always been about how to effectively monetize. You know, saying um, what you do. You know what I'm saying? How do you how do you how do you how do you monetize that? How do you bring value um so that you can flourish? Because at the end of the day, you know, for instance, in West in, in Wes's case, it's him getting signed, you know what I mean, to a label. Whereas with me, it you know, in tones, it could be a production deal. It could be something as simple as getting placements. Because and I'm not just talking, I'm not just talking about you know, an artist. I'm talking about commercials, I'm talking mm -hmm. about movies. You know what I mean? Because I guess what? There's money there. Like, I'll put it to you this way. One of the, one of the biggest examples that I've had, um, and and he's from Hempstead, is um, is Smooth. Okay. He he did a song. Smooth the Hustler? And, yes. No, not Smooth the Hustler. Smooth with a V. He oh, rapped with, 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 with a V. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. He, he, he did a song, and he got a placement. Because I think um, the Roots basically sung like they did a, a cover to one of his joints on the the Tonight Show, um, and Son has been seeing the check since then. You know what I mean? Just off a of placement alone. I be telling. That's what I'm trying to talk about. It's like telling, it's like listen, you, man. When when you got somebody like yeah, yo, when you get somebody like music. like NBC or you get you get a commercial, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's not just hip hop, like you know what I'm saying. Like if I if we produce something, and you know somebody like Mercedes Benz, Acura, you name it, somebody picks it up and they're playing it in a commercial. That's a grit that's coming without me. Just it, the residuals coming back is not stop. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like it's looking at it, um, it's bigger than hip hop, quote unquote. Like outside of that, outside of that scope, because this is a, for me. It's something that I love doing, and it's a hobby that I would love to eventually get a, a steady stream oh. of monetization from, but I'm not there yet. So for, for, for us, it's like, you know, yes, it'd be dope, you know what I'm saying, to be involved in a situation where somebody like Wes wins a Grammy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it'd be one of our joints, you know what I mean? Because that's that's a whole other that's a whole other stratosphere. That'd be but awesome, man. on the same token, on the same token, just as much as him getting his foot in the door with a label. You know, it, it'd be us being able to provide the, the, the soundscape to, you know, doing a score for a movie, uh, doing music for a commercial, um, you know, because the residuals that come back from that, it's like you can't put a price on that, yo. Like, you know what it is to sit back and be like, I'm just getting a check every month because of something that I did weeks ago. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, so, 
that's that's that, uh, in a way that's kind of like where we're at right now. It's like you know, it's it's just laying the groundwork, and we we understand that things take time, and oh, so yeah. for that, us, it's, it's it. we that we it, it, it's it's just about putting in the work. We just putting in the work right now. That's it. Hundred percent. Before I get you out of here, man, I got a game. Um, it's called <laughs> Versus. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you know, just you know, pick up. I just do random verses, and y'all pick. Y'all have to pick, right? All right. So, uh, in the NCAA men's versus in WC women's women's versus the men's college basketball this year. What you watching more? Because they're saying women are uh, dominating. I, they, I, I, was, I, was say, I was I would say women because. Uh, when I watch sports, I pull it to my pops because he's a big college fan. He likes college more than he likes stuff like NW. I mean, I say it's NWA. Uh, uh, and, uh, <laughs> NCAA. NCAA. <laughs> you know, he like college more than he like NBA. So to me, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the woman because they going crazy right now. Yeah, same here. I think I think what, what caught me what caught my attention was old girl breaking the um the scoring record. Scoring record, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, was like, I was like, oh. Like, that's crazy, yeah, Caitlin. Uh, yeah, it's more exciting. I was watching this today. I ain't gonna lie. Some of this stuff might be more West Coast based because I didn't know True Cipher was gonna join. Uh, so good. It, just, just if you jump in, if you could. Uh, uh, some, some of them are different because I was while you was mm -hmm. talking, I was doing them. Um, East Coast weather versus West Coast weather. West Coast weather. Yeah, no, nah, yo. <laughs> I, I I agree that because I've been to, I've been to San Diego and I would take and yeah. I've been I've been to Arizona and I'm yeah. gonna tell you this much I would prefer the the hot dry heat than the humid heat yeah, any yeah. day. Oh. And mind you, I'm, I mean, I have Caribbean blood in me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> I get it, but there's, there's, I would rather take that dry heat over that that the humidity anytime because the humidity gets in everything. The dry heat no. is like nothing. Y'all, y'all soldiers, man, because I know you went to school walking in the snow and it's like five. <laughs> I know you did that, bro. So you both you, us, man. We both from the east. So you got to walk to school where it's like with me, it's like I don't I have to go through that experience. You feel me? So yo, y'all motherfuckers, man. Y'all to deal with snow, rain. Snow storm of 78, I think. That was that was alive. You know what I'm saying? Well, we do we do with earthquakes and stuff like that, but we're not. We're, it's still hot though. Just imagine you know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all got to deal with, and it's 20 degrees outside. You be like oh, cold yeah. and, and like a thunderstorm and shit like that. It is cold. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nuts. Man. Nah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, I see it all, man. But that'd be, that'd be <laughs> what? What's the what's the end of the Bible name? That'd be that. Whatever. The, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That. Yeah, yeah. Talking yeah, about. Right, yeah, we, got, yeah. Uh, we got we got Converse Converse Chucks. Versus Timberlands. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a hard one, man. <laughs> Cause I, I want Chucks. They're comfortable as hell. Um, but I'm I'm gonna go with my Tims only because I think I was the dude. I was the dude. I was the dude. Okay, going to the beach. You know what I'm saying? With shorts and t shorts and Timberlands. Yo, I had, I had, yo, I had somebody stop me and be like, yo, you can't get like some white on white tonight. Like, you know, some <laughs> Air Force Ones, you know what I'm saying? It's like some sneakers, anything. I'm like, nah, I came from that whole boot camp click era. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shorts and Tims was official. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to pick Tims. I, now, I'm picking I'm Tims? I'm picking Tims. <laughs> oh! I'm, I'm not wearing Chucks out here. It's too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Uh we got what about the fashion? East Coast fashion versus West Coast fashion. What's what's going on? East Coast fashion. Uh, yeah. I'll pick East Coast fashion. I am um, I'm a I'm a I'm old head, so like I, I just even there's a mix, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because the thing is like there's pockets of folks in the in the in the West Coast that you know adapted to that, that East Coast flavor. But made it their own, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, it, it's East Coast for me. It, it's, now, it's always been, it. you speaking on present, or are you speaking on past? Because you say you're old. It could be either or. You could you, oh, you, know, no. you could say that maybe back in the day with, the West was better, and then now the East or something. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with present. Present is East. Okay. Yeah, present East. I, I have to think about. Not El Cujo was a fly guy, man. But Ice T was, <laughs> was fly too. So yeah. now, Ice, Yo. 
Hey, they, they both were. That's it. A4, and that's, that's the old, and that's the OG right there. Yeah, like I'm trying to think, like, yeah, that's another. That I'm a, we gotta, you gotta go and back speaking, to that. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of E40, speaking of E40, the next one is slow talking versus fast talking. Oh um, man, see, see, the thing is, is see when you. <laughs> I'm gonna go, 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 go with fast talking because when you got that sauce, you got that flavor, you got that, you come from a certain type of soil, you feel me? You're not, you go, you gonna keep up. You won't mm -hmm. keep up. Right, right, right. Right. Because now, because I'm, I'm, you, because you're trying to get game, you're trying to get jewels, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to get, you know, to match your pendant. You need to chain with the pendant. So you're trying to, you need, you need that shit to connect. You feel me? So if you can't connect, then it's not, that game is not for you. You feel me? Yeah, so, no, nah, I'm I'm gonna go with fast talking too. Yeah, right yeah, you and you're Dominican. They fast. They talk. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, like, it's by nature. Yeah, yeah man, it's by, it's by nature, yo. It's like, yo, it's it's by nature, yo. We 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 talk fast even when we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> what about the food, man? Food, East Coast, West Coast food, man. What about East Coast the food? food? I'm picking East Coast food. Uh, but I'm sorry though. Oh. Yo, I'm sorry, New York. I'm sorry, but Boston got the best food. Oh, Boston, we go Boston <laughs> in New York. We didn't even go West Coast. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> Boston got the best food. They got restaurants, y'all food, y'all seafood. I don't even eat seafood, but y'all fish. Like, I don't yeah, even Boston's Boston. crazy. Yeah, yeah, Boston. yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, y'all, yeah, I got it. The only thing y'all missing in Boston, I went to one soul food spot, but in Lynn, Lynn is missing soul food. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I I miss, I, so yeah my mom just live out there, so I know, yeah, I'm missing a lot of shit out there. Yeah, yeah, like LA, like I grew up on, you know, cornbread. I, mean, I, I grew up on that, so you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I miss. Like, <laughs> but other than that, the East Coast, you got it. You guys got it. The pizza is crazy. Yeah, I love pizza. This is like, pizza. <laughs> yeah, nah, yo, and mind you, I've been, I've been, to, I've been to Rome. Like, yo, it's it's official. <laughs> the pizza is insane, yo. Yeah, bro. Ooh. Insane. Hey, Rome? This guy's got Look, Snoop Dogg. Oh, <laughs> dog. she classic. Look who just dropped. That's <laughs> oh, it's fun. He's talking to us. What? what? That's, that's crazy. crazy. What's up, Snoop? What's up? What's that's that's crazy. crazy. The, that's homie crazy. Give, the homie giving approval right there, yo. What's going on, Snoop? You that's the nod. Yeah, that's Snoop's crazy. saying, he's saying, you know, the, the, the East Coast. I guess he's saying East Coast food, man. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? You know why he came out? Uh, Lakers versus Celtics ne next. Lakers versus Celtics. Today? No, oh, no. Okay, yeah. that's the you know the next versus. Oh, Lakers the next, the next oh, versus. Oh, 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 oh which uh, one? Lakers versus Celtics. I'm telling. Access the next question. Lakers. Yeah, Lakers. Lakers, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that was easy. That's Dang. that's an easy one because my brother, I grew up. Me and Tones, me and Tones grew up with the rivalry back in the day with uh you know the the Knicks and the Bulls back in the nineties, yeah. and uh he was a you know he was a uh, Michael Jordan Chicago you know Bulls fan. And I was a Knicks fan, and um, in regards to the Lakers and the in the in the Celtics, it reminds me of my older brother. My older brother, he was a Lakers fan, and it was like that was always it, it hands down. So it's like as soon as you mentioned it, I was like, no, it's Lakers. I'm a Lakers fan from Boston too. I ain't gonna lie, but I grew up because my uncles, my uncles adapted me to that. You know, mm -hmm. that's all I knew. I'm growing up watching Lakers games and I Celtics that. around that time. So no, I feel that. I feel that. I don't know. I That's, never switched after that. You know what I'm saying? I, feel that. I, I don't know y'all situations, but can y'all talk about the East Coast versus the West Coast ladies, women? Who, which one's uh, prettier? I don't know if y'all married or not. I'll let Wes answer that. Wes, hey, Wes, sing my sing. I'm married. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with East Coast. I'm going okay. to go East Coast. All right, and, and we're going go to the, we're gonna go to the next one. <laughs> yeah, we talked about this earlier, man. Friends will be like, "What? Oh hell no!" <laughs> you, got song, you got a song called "Texture," right? And we was talking about this earlier, making a joke, but "Silk vs Velvet." Oh, Mr. Light Skin oh. Man. Oh, all right. If I'm talking do rag, I'm gonna go with Velvet. Silk vs Velvet, man. I, I'm, a, I'm gonna go with Velvet. If I'm talking about like a shirt. You feel me? I'm probably gonna go with silk. You feel me? Go silk, with, right? Yeah. 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 I, I was gonna say I was gonna go with silk. Yeah, I'm going with silk. You know, do rag, I'm gonna go with a velvet like uh, texture, but like 
Like shirt wise, clothing wise, I'm gonna go with silk. You know what I'm saying? That's you know? so that's so feel that's that's so feel different, man. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. When you get to know me, you're gonna like. I'm really, really, really influenced, and grew up on some real pimpin' shit. The black. So, I see, yo, son, I see, yo, I see, pick, the, I see the, I see the, I see the pictures, yo. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? I seen the young and pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had the long hair and everything, and, stuff. and the fedora and all that. Yo, yeah, yeah. I was, I started off young. I started off young. I had a big ass chain with the long hair with the Capone hat. That's just with the suit. You know what I'm saying? I, I walked the sixth grade. Yo, guys. real, real pimpish early. <laughs> you feel me? But um, now, yo, as far as black exploitation films, yeah, um, I like. Day. I mean, I like the one that I was gonna say. I was gonna say Shaft versus Superfly. Oh. Mm. Go, me personally, I'm Superfly. Gonna go, I'm gonna go with Superfly. I'm gonna go with Superfly, man. I didn't like how they did Superfly. Um, the the uh, what's it called? The remake, yeah. The, the joint, remake. the joint. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they, they, nah. You gotta talk about the old one, though. They gotta, you can't. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. But yeah, the old Shaft, Superfly. I'm gonna go with Superfly. Yeah, Superfly, hands down. I'm, I'm more attracted to the culture. I'm more attracted to that than the cop culture. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I was, and then the music, the, you know, the words. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but Shaft is cold too. Don't get me wrong. Don't yeah, of course. Cold too. But I'm going to go with Superfly. So what are your favorite uh, exploitation, black exploitation movies? And then I got one more question. I'm going to get y'all to come over and get out of here. I like the joint that this guy did, um, uh, Mario and People's Pops. Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, Dan, yeah. I got you thinking. Um uh it's not gonna pops uh Mary, 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 Mario Van Peoples yeah Peoples yeah he said he did a couple which one did he do his pop his, his pop did it, his pop did one specific one where that was like uh Mad Lib sampled pretty much everything out of that wow, we, got, we got coffee um, we got sweet black I like coffee we sweet back we got uh sweet back is that the one yeah um sweet sweet back don't might Foxy Brown, the I Mac. Like, I like the Mac. I, I think I'm gonna go with the Mac because it hits home. When I was when I was 10 years old, my mom sat me down and was like, um, I want you to watch the Mac and I want you, I want you to watch the Godfather. I need you to learn how to talk and I need you to learn how to like um have certain principles watching the Godfather. My mom sat me down to I watched the Mac with my mom. So it always hits home with the Mac. You feel me? So I think that's probably my favorite one. Yeah. Um, and then I like coffee a lot because I was, I'm a big fan of Pam Greer. I think we all are. Oh, Pam, oh. <laughs> hello, Pam, hello. Pam Pam Greer. Greer, dude, come on, man. Yeah, coffee, I like, I like coffee. I like the, I like the new age too. I like, um, Jackie Brown and also like, uh, I like how they did, cl they, uh, they clothed Tyrone. I like how they shot. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good movie. Yeah. That was, that was, that movie was dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. But hell yeah. All right, the last one I'm gonna get you out of here, man. Uh, Eddie Murphy versus Kevin Hart, man. Oh, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. That's why I make sure Eddie. I just want people to know, man, these newcomers, man. Nobody touching Eddie. Hey, Mike Epps or Chris Tucker? I'm gonna ask you that. Mike, oh, hey, that's a tough one. Mike Epps or Chris Tucker? Hmm, man. which Friday you like the best? Friday or next Friday? That's what I'm asking. Friday or next Friday? Oh man! Oh, oh, oh you, you man. going there? If you going there, I'm gonna go original Friday. I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah, original original Friday. I think original Friday was. But as far as like between Mike Epps or, or Chris Tucker, it's. I would say for comedy, I like Mike Epps because he can freestyle and he's really good on his feet. Yeah. Yes. Good jokes too. There's a there's a um. You got more stand ups too. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem is that um Chris Tucker. After a certain point, you know, swear became, no quote unquote, he became a quote unquote Hollywood. And, I, and you know what I mean? I hate using that term, but it's like he became Hollywood, meaning that, you know, he wants to hit a specific tax bracket. It was like, okay, he had to act different. He had to, you know, carry himself different. And while that's cool and all, Mike Epps is like this. He remained the same the whole way through. You know what I'm saying? Friday, you know, in, 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 in the, the Friday after next, like his, his, his comedy is just comedy. And the thing is, like, it doesn't matter, like, what happens. Like, he, it's almost like he's still out here with the people. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, you know, imagine he's a star. He's big. But it's like, he, he feels, you know, tangible. Whereas Chris Tucker, it's like, you know, it's it's like this whole thing. It's like you get people that 
once they once they make it big, it's like oh, I, I'll make whatever I want when I want it. And it's like you lose that hunger. You know what I mean? And it's like don't 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 ever lose that because that's the, the whole point of you guys people getting into the into, into the game and to to produce and to do something is to keep it going. You know what I mean? That's why like you know I don't knock dudes like Ice Cube. You know what I mean? Because he always reinvents himself. Dudes like Ice T, like those guys don't have to do anything. But those are the OGs in in, in this in this, this in this game, in Hollywood and, and in hip hop. Like they don't have to do nothing. Not you know what I mean? Because they give them back they, to the youth, and they 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 fighting for the black for the black culture in, exactly. in the world and peace and prop, you know, prosperity and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. 100%. They ain't gotta do nothing. They ain't gotta do nothing. But it's like when you get to that point where it's like you know you feel like you you, you go Hollywood. It's like come on, man, you're alienating you know the the, the main fan base that put you on. You know what I mean? It's like the people starve for for that constant entertainment, and the moment that you feel like you make you're too big to do something, you start losing. That's what he was like. Oh, man, he's on that shit, and then <laughs> and they leave you right where you at. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. now, freaking today's society, so you know, uh, the, the attention span is super small, and it's like people are fickle. Sure. You know what I mean? It's really short. Um, again, okay. man. Uh, thank you guys for coming on, man. West Taylor. True Cypher, man. Um, again, THHC Podcast, episode 188, West Taylor. Uh, can you guys say Sorry. something? Um, promote, 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 and then say something positive, man. Again, man, you know, uh, again, thanks for coming on, man. We are, I really appreciate it. You guys got great conversation, great music, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm looking forward to listening to the your previous work and also your future uh titans man that you're gonna bless the world with man so um talk about it west taylor you go first man maybe bless us with something promote 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 and, and, and give us oh, something yeah. positive at the end man okay bet man i appreciate you bro freaking uh follow me on instagram uh 93 infant west w-e-s-t and um i just dropped a project i dropped two projects uh the ba a bathing tiger uh that was my first band camp project um and um, I'm really proud of that project. I want to do so much more. So just when it comes to the fashion, um, that's go I'm going to have more that's going to get into that. And then I just dropped another project called uh, Eyes uh, these uh, uh, eyes Under the Shades. Uh, the shades. Um, and that project is just different sonically. True Cypher producer, I Want to Be Famous. Did you? Yep, that I did want to be, we did want to be famous. And um, we did another joint on there. Um, I'm gonna get this right. I'm gonna get this right. Uh, elephant nose. Elephant nose. Yeah. Yeah. That and elephant nose. Elephant nose. And what? And, and what you need? It, yup. And what you need? Yup. Yup. And actually, uh, elephant nose. And um, that's one of my favorite tracks on that project. And you started to produce that. Yeah, that's a good project, man. That's that's probably gonna that's gonna go on the list. I probably you know uh, review that as well. That's a good project. I like that. And, yeah, and then I got Felicity in China to uh, to to express a, a feminine energy. You feel me? And then, like the art cover is is you know is 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 I'm basically trying to introduce a, a certain fashion, a certain like a texture of off of the moth, and 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 put it in a different format. You feel me? So uh, I'm excited for that project. I got more visuals coming. I got different things coming, different skits coming. Because like I said, like each project is like a screenplay. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to um, when it comes to um, album making, when it comes to me, you feel me? Going back to the Wajir project, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's based on certain things. So hell yeah, I got visuals. I got albums coming. I got, um, I got, I dropped that. I got, I got an album with, um, this dude named Kingsley's from Lynn, uh, um, Paradox King. I got I got another project, and that project's gonna be more like poetry. I know so, Paradox King, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dope dude. Yeah, yeah. I got um, we've been working on this project for like a year now. Mm. You know, what I'm so we, that that's that that project is finally finalized. So I can't wait to drop that because it's 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 um it's a different taste. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know how Pepsi, you know how like Coke got Sprite. And coke and cherry coke and all that. This is yeah. cherry. Coke. You feel me? It's, like, <laughs> it's still coke, but it's cherry coke. You feel yeah, me? yeah. It's still the same brand, but you know, a little flavor, different flavor. Right, right. right. <laughs> Shout out to Paradox King. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, if you can end on saying something positive to the fans, man, or just blessing your soul. Oh, hell yeah, man. Um, to the artists out there, keep going, man. To the artists out there, keep going, man. And do it for the love. No, don't. don't 
don't expect anything in return when you um when you give and that, that's why you get fucked up because of your, your expectations so just just keep going man and 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 um don't treat this shit like a sport mm. treat this shit like it's an art mm. they sense it is that's why a lot of people are feel like they're sore losers because they lost it in music or wh- whatever you know what i'm saying like nah, man treat this shit like it's an art man you feel me and, and and it's gonna and it's gonna repay you for your you know for your labor you're know saying so man keep going don't don't yo, be that's dope man appreciate it man yo yeah. west dope man yo true yeah. cypher same promote 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 little positive message if you don't mind i just want to take uh take a second to thank uh you know thank you thank us you know Westside taylor um for uh just everything you know what I'm saying work always working with us um you know, my first introduction to West was, you know, a track called Guntry. Uh, um, and when I heard his style of flow and how he rhymed, it was like, it was automatic. It was like, I need that dude on our tracks. It was automatic. But, it, you know, the rest is, the rest is, like you said, is the rest is history. But um, we, our motto, our work ethic is work, work, work. We continue to push out music as best as we can. We branch out. Obviously, we work with you know just about any and all artists. You know, we've done track, we've done project with uh, the likes of um, um, Josiah, um, uh, you know, the from gift. the umbrella, from the umbrella click. Yeah, uh, we did a joint. We did a project called Togo. Um, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. First, oh, that's right. You did do Togo. I yeah, the whole project. We did the whole project from front to from front to back. Uh, right. We got some tracks. We got some work with him. You know, saying like we continue to work with him. So we got the full project there. Um, obviously, we did work with Ala Prem. You know, yeah, um, Togo, we yeah. still we still work with him every once in a while. But you know, we keep we keep it. You know, what I'm saying neutral. You know, what I'm saying because as you know, there's all, all drama with that camp. Um, we got work. You know, what I'm saying as far as as far as ourselves, our, our respective projects. Um, we have something in the works. I don't want to give anything away too much. You know, t- yet. But just know that it it is it is hopefully dropping by the end of uh by the end of summer. Um, mm-hmm. it's getting it's getting yeah. mixed and mastered. Yeah. It's getting huh? The yeah the you don't the, have to say it. I know what you're about you don't have to say it. yeah yeah you yeah, yeah the, the majors are mix the majors are mixing and max mixing and mastering it now. Uh, okay, I think two track were two tracks out where the, the, I had to send them the um the stems to like the because the way that the person that worked on it the way that he does his jobs. I had to make sure that it's right for him and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's everything's right so i don't want to give nothing away just yet just know that it's just something that we it's it's a person that we always you know we admire we've yeah. done work with um we have our first official you know our first official album or you know, foray into the hip-hop thing which was our first true cypher album which is out it's still out on Bandcamp. it's on spotify and all platforms um like i said we've done we got work with wes uh we continue to work with wes um most of the cats from lynn and I use I generalizing it because it's like it's like, it's, like, got, it's like the whole camp. It's the whole camp. I mean, bugs, hidden character. Like we we got works with just about everybody coming out. I see um, low. Shout out to I see low. Yeah, shout, shout out to I see low. Uh, Khalil, uh, Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? It's the homie. Like mm-hmm. all that. Just the whole camp. That we it just a lot of work. A lot of music coming out. Oh, yeah. Um. As far as uh, on a positive note, I would say you know to piggyback off of what Wes said, it do it for the love. Don't lose the um, never lose that. I had one of, and, and also be be receptive. And when I say be receptive, I'm talking about the criticism, criticism, the whole shebang. Because I'm a, I'm an old head and I get it. You know what I'm saying. And the thing is when someone actually cares about what you do and how you do it and they have something to say about it when it comes from a place of sincerity you shouldn't take offense to it you know what i mean because at the end of the day they're sharing something and the thing is for instance with us early on and one of the things that he's told me from the beginning was listen you're you have an ear but express yourself you know what i'm saying don't get into a zone where you're like, okay, this is what you know, because we get comfortable. We get mm-hmm. used to doing something and it's like, I know how to do this. And okay, I do it well. But it's like, get out of that comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, 
you have to be, if I was some type of other person, I would have took offense to what he told me. Because here it is, I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to, to, to give, because I'm literally, we give music. We don't, again, we, it keeps us selective. So we choose to who we want to work with. But at the end of the day, we give our music. We give it. We don't say, okay, here's the price tag and this is what you're going to pay for it. Because I don't want that type of relationship. You know what I'm saying? Stay in a place where you, you are susceptible to receiving, be it criticism, be it, you know, words of encouragement, and stay humble. That's not coming from a place of animosity. Yeah. Being humble involves a certain level of maturity because it's understanding that, okay, I know how to do this very well, but someone else who has a certain level of experience can tell me you can do this extra. You can do X, Y, and Z. You can build upon what you're doing. Okay. So staying humble and just being, being receptive, you know what I'm saying? Being able to, to accept criticism and understanding when it's coming from a place of sincerity and knowing, using discernment when it's coming from a place of hatred. If it's coming from a place of hatred. It's just somebody that just looking at you saying, I wish I could do what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So yep. it's like you have to be you have to be smart enough to understand that line. You know what I mean? But definitely do it from a place of love because the reason why Wes and, and, and us have that relationship is because we do it for that. Wes didn't ask us, didn't charge us for a feature. He didn't and to, as far as I'm concerned, that's never that's not that's not a that's never gonna be a topic of conversation because we already have that that relationship. Yeah, if you know I'm, what I mean? I'm a fan of, if I'm a fan. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't be on my high horse of charging people. Like, like if, if I see that you dedicated to this music, I'm not going to charge you. But if I feel like you trying to get a name off of stuff of, or trying to get resources out of me, then I'm like, all right, because you're going off of resources, I have to charge you for these resources. You know, of course. yeah, yeah. hundred percent. You know but if it's, if if I see like, if I see you, your dedication to this music, and I see your hustle, I'll never. Man, a lot of Lynn artists think think like think I would charge them because you know where I'm from, bro. Not nigga, nah, man. If I see you performing, making albums, all that stuff, man, we in the same game. Let's work together. But if you just you can always get the money on the back end. I mean, the yeah, money, of course, yeah, yeah but you talk about the back end. Yeah, but if you jump out the gate, you're talking about prices. Now you're now you're you're talking about prices. You know what I'm saying? Because I would not, bro. I'm not gonna charge you, bro. Send me the beat. Let's go. Let's do it. Because I'm a fan of the music. I'm not doing this for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, man. I feel like any artist, uh, anybody that you see me featured on or with, because uh, I'm on SC Next albums and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. we don't we don't. We don't exchange that, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the studio and I see that guy ask me for a verse, hell yeah, where he wherever he see me fit. You feel me? So and I go and I go vice versa with a lot of these um acts, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's, it's dope, it's dope, you know, with the the mini magic collective and the tree branch. Of, oh yeah. You know, yeah, it, it runs it runs the affiliates, it runs it runs deep. It runs so yeah, deep, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the SC Nack SC is not as he's not celebrated enough out here in Massachusetts. Oh, SC Nack is dope, man. Yeah. Yo, they, I don't know. They duh. He's you know, all I gotta say, get up, yo, yo, you connect me, goddammit. <laughs> um, yeah, SC Nack's nice, man. But um, you know, again, thank you guys for coming on the show and definitely thank you for you having know, us. This, man. this album and then y'all production and, and, and your raps gets the <laughs> Just the rewind, man. Yeah. <laughs> I go there and check it out, man. Stop playing, man. Again, man, this is the THHC podcast, episode 188. West Taylor, man, and True Sight, man. Um, you know, love over hate is pretty much, you know, I simplify it, man. And then, you know, get passive income, get that bag, work together. Hell 2024 yeah. is the year of the truth, and it's year, and it's also the year to connect and build together, man. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Stop playing black business. Absolutely. Ooh. That's all I gotta say, man. You know, I say black, I mean all of us. I ain't saying yeah, all you know, us. You know, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this and that. You know what I'm saying? We all one color, yo. You know what I'm talking about. Man. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, sir.
But all right, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, get out. We're getting out of here, man. Um, love over hate, man. We be out, man. We out Boston, West Coast, New York, everything. We connecting, baby. That's crazy. Tied in. Yeah, <laughs> Tied in. Peace, y'all. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>